She shone like a star, and not one of those red giants. You know, the ones that have mostly burned themselves out and are all big and useless, but like our sun. Heat and light, life-giving. When we met, she was a vision in brown. No one-third the fat type, if you know what I mean. She was like a Botticelli. We spent many long days and nights together, our passion only surpassed by our deep respect for each other on a cellular level. The point of all of this is, I was in love, and I was not concerned about what anyone thought. I've never been one for labels. I had a boyhood friend who told me he was gay, so I told him, if you like to suck dick, you like to suck dick, whatever. But about my gal, she's a spry gal, the prettiest gal in town. And when I call on my lady to ask for her hand to accompany me for a stroll through the park, she is always delighted by my company. Or as she tells me, I often rely on the kindness of strangers. She was sticky and sweet and gave of herself from deep, deep inside. What? what? I'm absolutely freezing. It's like five degrees out here. I quit. No, Done no, with no, it. Wait a we've no, 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 We've no, only got no, a couple more lines. No, no, no. That's what you said with the Mr. Bubble thing. So come on. Forget it. No. But hold on. Hold on. No, I'll give you. No. Well, I'll give you twenty bucks. Okay. What do you want me to do again? Pick up the fucking bottle and do it again. Hey, look at it lovingly. Now walk towards me. One time, someone asked me, who is your best friend? Huh, I told him, Mrs. Butterworth, of course. She never speaks badly of me. Come to think of it, she doesn't speak at all. And then, one day, it just ended. No great fanfare or send-off. She just never returned my calls. Although a bitter pill to swallow, I have moved on. You know, I think about her often, and what could have been, and I remember what Mark Twain once said, sex is overrated and defecation underrated. <laughs>